I'm Jen Morris, and today we're going to be speaking with Ryan Dalzell with Pacific Sotheby's International Realty about an innovative aviation company in Carlsbad, a super cool restaurant here in the area, and what's happening in real estate in North County Marketplace. We're here at the Landings Restaurant at Palomar Airport in Carlsbad, and I'm joined by the one and only Ryan Dalzell. Ryan, thanks for having us. You're welcome. Great to be here. Tell me a little bit about this restaurant. I know it's changed immensely over the years. It has. It uh, it really is a hidden gem. I think most people have no idea that there's a restaurant at an airport because uh, no one thinks of eating at airports, right? Yeah. But, uh, I'm ashamed to uh, say I'm one of those people. No, but it's it's great, uh, and it's really changed a lot. Uh, the airport itself went through a huge renovation, 2007 to 2009 and at the same time this restaurant was changed from a what was really an old dive of a restaurant into a great uh, venue with an outdoor patio and it's one of my favorite spots to come. It's so cool. I mean, I, I'm ashamed to say I haven't been here. I've heard about it for years, but it has far exceeded my expectations. A full bar, mm -hmm. the food looks fantastic. Oh, great food, breakfast, lunch, dinner, they have a happy hour. They also have live music on Sat Fridays and Saturdays out on the patio. So, I mean, this is a sp this is definitely something to put on the list. Come check it out. It's uh, we love it. Now you are, are no stranger to this airport. You used to be a flight instructor here. Yep, yep. This is my old stomping grounds. Uh, back in 2000, I continued my uh, training, my flight training, and then right after September 11th, I got a job as a flight instructor and flew here for three years, uh, every day, eight hours a day. Uh, I kept flying over all these beautiful homes in the area while my dad and my brother were working together in real estate. I said, yeah, maybe I should be doing real estate, so. Maybe I should I'm be buying and selling those homes. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Do you have any interesting stories about when you were a flight instructor? I can't even imagine what you must have seen. More stories than we have time to tell, um, but you know, a lot of it is just helping people overcome the fear of flying. So what's it been like transitioning from being a flight instructor to in real estate with your father and your brother? Uh, you know, honestly, it was pretty seamless. Uh, my dad's been in the business a long time. We've lived in San Diego since the 80s, so definitely know the neighborhoods and the area, and working with family has been awesome. Uh, we love what we do, and we really support each other, and what better place to be selling real estate than North County, uh, San Diego. Now, your office is in Del Mar. You are uh, with Pacific Sotheby's International Realty. Tell me a little bit about the branding of that company and how it ties into the luxury market, which is a, a large per portion of what you guys do. Yes, yeah. Sotheby's is a brand that really uh, speaks to the high end, but that's not all that Sotheby's says. I mean, so we literally work with first time buyers and sellers all the way up to a 10 plus million dollar property that we have on the market now. So, the, but the brand and the image of Sotheby's and the innovative marketing that they have is, the global marketing is what absolutely separates it from any other broker. Well, and that global reach really ties back into the international accessibility of this airport. That's an excellent point. Um, Palomar, most people don't know, but there are international flights leaving Palomar. Uh, the, there are a number of jet charters, uh, but one in particular, Schubach Aviation, actually does international flights. So whether it's Europe, Asia, South America, that all comes right out of Palomar. And Palomar really services North County. Now, Schubach is a company that is also doing so much good for the community. I know that they're involved in a couple of charities. They really try and give back. Yes, absolutely. Uh, they they have a real heart for nonprofits, and um, like I said, they've been here a long time. They've been 25 years. Uh, one of their programs that they have is called Shelter to Soldiers, and I love this charity. They partner by pairing shelter dogs with military vets that are coming back from combat dealing with PTSD. And what better combination than man and, and his best friend? So that's a charity that what they do is, Schubach is every mile flown, they will donate a penny for a mile flown, and that translates into thousands of dollars a year to that charity. The other charity they support is called Promise to Kids, and that's a charity that works with foster kids, helping them through camps, scholarships. So Schubach does an amazing job of supporting the community and just helping out. That's so wonderful. And I know that the owner is also a dog lover, which I think speaks to that first charity you mentioned. It does, it does. He, and of course, pets are welcome on their jets, and they just make 
make it really easy for families, uh, whether they have pets or not. Let's talk a little bit about real estate. Okay. Um, the year is over 2016. We're here in the beginning of 2017. How was the year for you? And, and how is 2017 looking? I know you don't have a crystal ball, but yeah. what are you projecting? You know, 2016 was a really good year. It was almost surprisingly good, uh, but the, and Carlsbad was one of the top areas in terms of appreciation. So 6%, just over 6% price appreciation. Uh, inventory was the issue, and I think it'll still continue to be. There's just a lot of people with interest rates being low, they decided to refinance rather than sell. So we need more homes. We need more listings uh, in, in the area to really uh, service that demand that's there. Uh, I think a lot of people don't realize, but San Diego is outpacing California and is outpacing the nation in terms of job growth and income growth. So it's actually doing very well from that standpoint. And that's why people can afford these homes. And uh, even though affordability is tough, uh, it probably will continue in 2017. But, but the interest rates are still pretty low. Interest rates are low, but I think the, the word's gotten out there. We had a really robust December with new escrows, and, it, and it's really due to the fact that people saw that first interest rate hike and they know that there's at least a good chance that that'll happen once or twice more this year. So if you're going to be buying, now's the time to jump in and buy. And uh, I see values continuing to be solid throughout uh, the year ahead. Well, if there is someone out there that is interested in the luxury market, I know that we can't go too much into detail yet, but give us a little taste about a property that's coming up pretty soon for you in Rancho Santa Fe. Yeah, that, that's going to be an exciting one. It's a brand new construction that we really helped oversee the whole process from being an off-market property, the design of it, and it's going to be a phenomenal property. We're very excited to, to have it. We're already getting a lot of buzz from people. There's just not a lot of new construction, especially at the high end. And uh, when, you, when you get a team together of architect, designer, builder, uh, and they put together a phenomenal product, it's, it's really exciting. That's really exciting. Yeah. Well, we can't wait to see it. Maybe our next shoe we can do it there? For sure. All right, thank Sounds you, good. Ryan. You just heard from Ryan Dalzell about the Schubach Aviation Company, the Landings Restaurant, and an exciting real estate listing that he's getting ready to preview.